What's up with YouTube? This video was requested by one of my subscribers for me to do. And not even just that. This video is long overdue. It's time that this nigga Lil Dirt get exposed for the demon that he really is. Lil Dirt sacrificed King Von. And not only that, he sacrificed a lot of others too on his way to the top. And in this video, I'm going to show you the evidence of just that. Now, before you watch this, you need to pray to the Most High. That he opens your heart and your mind and your soul up to understanding. And pray for discernment. So that you too could also see the truth that's right before your eyes. And it's been that way. Now, ever wonder why the tape? Is over their mouths, these celebrities. If you don't know, I'm going to tell you. It means that they won't tell the secrets. The secrets of the industry. All of these niggas is in secret societies. And if they was to tell you the secrets, their tongue could be removed, their eyes could be gouged out, and their throats can be slit. It's part of the oath that they took when they signed their soul over to the devil for money and fame. Now, that blonde hair Dirk is rocking now. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm going to tell you how he earned that. The blonde hair symbolizes mind control and all of the blood sacrifices that he has done in the music industry to get to where he's at. And he's a full blonde. Some of them have blonde streaks in their dreadlocks. And then you may notice, first they'll start off with black hair, all black. And then over the years, they dye their hair half black, half blonde. And some of them, they just go full out blonde. The blood symbolizes blood sacrifices. In La Dirt, he's a full blood, meaning he has completely gave himself over to the devil. And he is a full blown occultist. He's a demon. And you can look in the picture at his eyes. He's telling you that he is totally consumed by his demon. When Lil Durk signed the Def Jam back in May of 2013, everyone around this man started dropping like flies. He took the oath and signed his name in blood to be in the $20 million club in no time. He'll be there in no time. Y'all got to understand, fame and money comes with a big price. It's all about how far you're willing to go to get to the top. It's all about what you're willing to do to get to the top. It's all about how many penises you're willing to take to get to the top. It's all about how many blood sacrifices are you willing to make. How many rituals are you willing to do. How many people are you willing to sell out and stab in the back. Y'all got to understand, Lil Dirk do not have a soul. His soul been gone long ago, years ago. So him sacrificing King Von was nothing to him. He done sacrificed people way closer to him than Von. And I'm going to show y'all in this video. See, you got to understand, Dirk doesn't have a conscience. He doesn't have morals. It's all about money, fame, and power in his, mu in his music industry. And it's no honor among thieves. Lil Dirk, right along with the rest of these industry niggas, are grimy. They're treacherous. They're defiled. They're evil. They're backstabbing. Just like the demons that they are. You can't put shit past these niggas. They will kill their own mama. You feel me? Just look at Kanye West. He put his mama on the chopping block. Slab. He sacrificed his mom. And these niggas so bold, they rap about sacrificing their friends in their songs. 
They tell y'all all the time in the songs. But instead of listening to the lyrics, people just be bobbing their heads to the beat. All Dirk music is demonic, and he exposes the type of nigga that he is in his songs. And I'm also going to break that down and show you guys some lyrics. Now, he told you in that song, Back in Blood, that that song was about Vaughn, y'all. It was about how he set him up in plain sight. These people get a life of fame, and there's levels to it. If you want to be on Drake level, it's a price that come with it. I know y'all probably seen recently Dirk has been pictured with Drake. He's even been featured on the song Laugh Now, Cry Later. Now it was a price that he had to pay for that. But without further ado, I'm about to get into this video. I'm about to show y'all how Dirk sacrificed L.A. Capone, OTF Pluto, OTF Nunu, OTF Chino, Ramona Garcia, Lil Mister, and King Von. They all was affiliated with him. Everybody around him died. Let's get started. Now, First up on the list is L.A. Capone. He died September 2013. And remember I told y'all Dirk signed the Def Jam in May in 2013. Now just pay attention to this timeline of how everybody that was affiliated with him, that was in OTF, that was his family member or that was around him, died. This is L.A. Capone. He died September 2013. He was shot and killed. And after he died, Dirk dropped Signed to the Streets. The album. It was released in 2013 after his death. L.A. Compone wasn't the only person that Dirk sacrificed back in 2013 either. Before he dropped signs to the streets. He also sacrificed his friend OTF Pluto. He died in a car crash. And it's also been said that he was shot. Before his car crashed. Dirk dropped signs to the streets. Right after that. The blood sacrificing don't stop there though. OTF Nunu. A.K.A. Nooski, died May 31st, 2014. And this is the cousin of Lil Dirt. He was also shot. And after he died, Dirk released Sign to the Streets 2, back in July 7th, 2014. A year after that, OTF Chino Dollar died. March 27, 2015, he was also shot in a random drive-by. All these niggas just randomly getting shot, and they ain't even in gangs or none of that. Dirk released Remember My Name album in May 2015, right after his manager died. A year after that, this young lady right here, her name is Ramona Garcia. She died, and she was a mistress of Lil Dirt. She died in January of 2016. A lot of people may not know her, but she was in a video. She posted a video of her in the bed with Lil Dirt. They was kissing on each other and all of that. Now, this was back when Dirt was supposedly dating Dej Loaf, and we all know that there was a stage relationship, a contract relationship by the industry. And they said that this girl died of a heroin overdose. And that's a lie. Because the same day she died, Dirk and Dej Loaf released that song, My Beyonce. They released a video to it, a visual to it. And the same day, somebody told Dirk that this girl had passed away. And Dirk lied and claimed that he do not know her. But he was caught in bed with her on the video. They was kissing and everything. I even seen it for myself. 
And also, Lil Durk dropped the album called Lil Durk Two Times, July of 2016. None of this shit is not adding up, y'all. Every time somebody die around this nigga, he dropping an album. I hope y'all paying attention. Next on the list, Lil Durk cousin, Lil Mister. He died March 15, 2019. He also was shot randomly. He was an up-and-coming rapper as well, a Chicago drill rapper. And after he died, Dirk released his album, Love Songs for the Streets 2, back in August of 2019. Last but not least, another sacrifice. Dirk sacrificed King Von on November 6, 2020. He was also shot outside a club. And after that, Dirk released his album, The Voice, on December 24th, 2020. See, y'all got to understand, King Von, he took the oath as well, the vow of silence. That's why his hand is over his mouth, meaning he won't tell the secrets. He told y'all in that song, Stick to the Code, that he did featuring Polo G. He signed his name in blood to get out of going to jail. Y'all remember him and Dirt? They was facing those murder charges? Yeah. That's how he got off. Vaughn gave it back to his hood in that vlog he did. But see, he had to sell his soul to get the money in the first place. Now, Dirk got Vaughn to sell his soul and to sign to his label. Once you sign that deal, y'all, it's over. Your soul belongs to the devil now. And he give you all his temporary money, all his temporary fame, and it's very short-lived. Vaughn signed to Dirk, I believe, in back in 2018. And this man died not even two years later, in 2020. So his fame and money and fortune, it was very short-lived. But see, that's how the game go. When have you ever seen Dirk giving back to anything? See, he was also jealous of that. That Vaughn was on the up and up. He was rising to fame, and people actually was fucking with Vaughn and his music. That was labeling Vaughn a real nigga for doing shit like that. He was out rapping Dirk and his songs and everything. But see, it can only be one at the top. So Dirk got him knocked off. He eliminated his competition. You see, I'm going to break it down for you. Y'all be thinking these niggas be bros, and it's all love, and they happy for each other. But nah, it's not like that. This is the game of the devil. It's no honor. Just like in the Bible, Cain and Abel, Cain killed his brother because of jealousy and envy. It's the same thing today. It's a doggy dog type of world in this music industry. You have to sacrifice someone else close to you in order for you to move up in the ranks. Notice how soon as Vaughn died, Dirk gained all his clout off his death. People thinking Dirk is the good guy, but this nigga is a wolf in sheep clothing. King Von's song started to do numbers after he died. I'm talking about millions. His song Crazy Story, which was written at Dirk's house, it even went certified platinum. His album reached top five, and all of his unreleased songs got released. Now, who y'all think gets all that revenue, all that money, all that dinero, the record company that he signed to? Vaughn don't get to see a penny. Why? Because he's dead and gone. Sometimes you worth more dead than alive in this industry. 
Y'all be thinking they bros and it's all love. And they fuck with each other. But niggas will really snake you out. They looking at you like competition. And that's exactly how Dirk was looking at Vaughn. He just playing the game. And unfortunately, Vaughn signed up for it. Whether he knew it or not. I could tell that Vaughn genuinely thought that Dirk, you know, he looked up to him. You feel me? He fucked with him. But see, I'm finna show y'all how Dirk is a snake-ass nigga. And he ain't got no loyalty to nobody. I mean, he sacrificed his own cousins, for goodness sake. Now, I highlighted some lyrics from Dirt song, Him and Future, called Last Name. Now, in Dirk's verse, he says, I answer my phone in the middle of the night, like who done died now? Knowing I'm involved. Knowing I'm in." Evolved. But we gon' slide back when it's dying down. Now, he telling y'all right now, right here, how he get down. How these niggas play like they don't know what's going on. I told y'all, they sign off. On their partners or their family members to get murked, to get blood sacrificed, and they act like they don't know. They'll either be in another state rocking a show, or they'll act like they was out of town or something. But the whole time, they was the ones that gave the hit for them to kill their partner or their family member. And Dirk did just that to King Von. He said, I answered my phone in the middle of the night like who done died now. This nigga saying this like he's so used to sacrificing people. He's so used to them calling his phone. You know, they got to get that phone call and let them know that the hit has been made. And what he do? He play like he ain't know. He play sad and shit. But he told y'all, knowing that he's involved. He telling y'all right there. But we gonna slide back when it's dying down. Now what did Lil Dirk do when King Von died? That nigga deactivated his Instagram account and he stayed off the internet. And he waited till Von death died down. The hype about him dying kind of died down a little bit. And this nigga did what? He popped back on the scene. With all that fake ass love and clout and shit for King Von. After this nigga know that he blood sacrificed this man, man. These niggas is treacherous, man. I'm telling y'all. These are some evil ass demons that y'all dealing with. These niggas ain't got no soul. What did he do when he popped back on the scene after Von death died down? This nigga came out rocking a Von jacket with this man face spray painted and shit on the back, y'all. It's all fake. It's all fake love, man. This nigga just told y'all. He was the one who got him sacrificed. He was a part of it. He was a part of the hit. So that he can come up. But now he want to come out rocking a King Von jacket and chain and shit. And even put him on the front of his new album, The Voice, y'all. It's all fake. It's fake love. I'm telling you, my nigga, it's always the ones closest to you, bro. The ones that you'll do anything for. The ones you think your best friend, your bros, you know, your brody, your brother. You know, these niggas will snake you out, my nigga, and that shit fucked up. Because I could tell that King Von, he really did look up to Dirk, bro. He thought that that nigga loved him, you know, that he had love for him, you know. I know that he wasn't expecting this nigga to snake him out. But it's a sad case, you feel me? He just, you know, I guess he ain't know the type of nigga that Dirk really was. You feel me? Or he knew, but he ain't think that that nigga do it to him. But like I told y'all, it's no honor amongst thieves, my nigga. Anybody go. 
Now, Lil Dirk, that nigga so grimy and treacherous, my nigga. He told y'all in that song, Back in Blood, this is the song that this nigga was singing and rapping and dancing to and turned up to on live. The exact moments that Vaughn was dying, my nigga, when that nigga got shot. When he sent out the hit on him. When the hit was completed, this nigga was on live, y'all, dancing to this song. Pay attention to the lyrics that I highlighted. He said, get my shorty in them a dub and they gonna walk inside the club. Now, he talking about Quando Rondo and Lil Tim. Now, I'm telling y'all, they want y'all to think that these niggas was beefing and shit like that, my nigga. But no, it, ain't, it wasn't even nothing like that, my nigga. Dirk used these two young, dumbass niggas. He paid these niggas, he told you, a dub. To walk inside the club, outside the club, whatever, to shoot and to kill King Von. It was a hit, my nigga. He said, hit his little ass with that switch. I bet that switch switch up his nerve. Now, we all know how skinny and little King Von is, bro. And when he said, I bet that switch switch up his nerve, he talking about that King Von had nerve basically for dissing his cousin. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm also going to insert this clip kind of towards the end of this video. When Von was on live, he dissed Dirk cousin, Lil Mister. He said, I know these folks Lil cousin, but man, fuck Lil Mister. And that shit made Dirk mad. That's why he's saying that Vaughn had some nerve to do that shit. He said, hit his little ass with that switch. I bet that switch switch up his nerve. He said, you can't come back to your hood, huh? Nope. He said that because he know that that nigga dead, bro. He knew that he was about to die. Then I just tell y'all, Vaughn was always in his hood, my nigga. That nigga was always giving back to his hood. I, he shoot videos in his hood, all that. You can go back and do the research on that for yourself. Majority of that nigga videos was in O Block, was in his hood. He always putting his hood on the map. He said, you can't come back to your hood, huh? Nope. He was dissing on my cousin. Now his ass all in that wood, huh? Boom, boom, boom. He told you. He even did the boom, boom, boom sound effects to let y'all know that they finna shoot that nigga. And it, it was even said that Vaughn got shot three times in the back, bro. Boom, boom, boom. He letting y'all know. He said his ass playing, bitch, I'm really icy. Pooh shiesty, that's my dog. But Pooh, you know I'm really shiesty. I'm finna repeat that. His ass playing, bitch, I'm really icy. Poo shiesty, that's my dog. But poo, you know I'm really shiesty. Do y'all not know the definition of shiesty, bro? I'm about to insert that shit in a video and let y'all know. Shiesty means untrustworthy, my nigga. Immoral. He letting you know that he ain't to be trusted, my nigga. He'll slime anybody out. This whole... Song and verse was telling y'all about the setup of King Von. He telling you, I told y'all they tell you in the songs all of the time. But people not paying attention to the lyrics and shit. They so blind and desensitized and fucking brainwashed. Y'all thinking that this nigga ain't got shit to do with it. Y'all just, you know, bobbing your head and shit because you think it sound good. But the whole time this nigga lay, laying it out for you on a silver platter. That he set Vaughn up. It's a setup. It was a setup from the jump. With Lil Tim, uh, oh, Rondo Quando, whatever the fuck his name, all them niggas is in, is in on it. That's why Dirk ain't never did shit to them. That's why them niggas still hurt. It was a setup. Shiesty, deceitful, untrustworthy, immoral, suspicious. This nigga told y'all, bro. Right at the horse's mouth, my nigga. Tell the truth about your 
nowhere to go. I shot up everywhere they was. You know who took that shit from you? Come get it back in blood. Bitch, come get it back in blood. We ain't mad, it's Even though that's folks, cuz, yeah, man, fuck little mister. Sacrifice, he sent you to get bodies. Basically, he just signed you over to the Illuminati. That super goofy, big gay ass, this bitch ass nigga, this old ass bitch ass nigga, I ain't never did shit. Lil Reese choked his ass up in the club. All type of shit. He always been a buck out ass bitch. See, that's why I be making me. That's why I been writing little tell. I been writing little tell. You sacrifice Vine. Dirk Ben said it. Now you want to act like you so Vine crazy. Everybody that be around your hoe ass that. Shano. No, no. Who else? Vine. Who else? Blood money. Everybody you put on, that dude. What is to you? What's to you? What's to you?